Hi everyone and welcome to Miss B Med Teacher channel. Today I'm gonna talk about um, Neplan and I'm gonna go through some questions. So um, the first question is do you need to prepare for Neplan? Depends on the person who is watching this video. So um, your answer could be yes or no. But anyway, that's not, you know, the purpose of this video. So the purpose is um, to explain some of the questions in case you do want to prepare for it. So, um, the first one um, is um, a question at 6 a.m. So 6 a.m., 6 a.m., the temperature in Greenville was 11, 11.9 um, degrees Celsius. At midday, midday, so that is 12th uh, noon, uh, it was 9.8 warmer. So from here, warmer, it means has increased by 9.8. So, and then at 6 p.m., 6 p.m., um, it was cooler. So for whatever it was at um, midday, so then it was cooler, so it's a uh, takeaway 10.9 um, degrees Celsius. And what was the temperature at 6 p.m.? So the first thing we have to do, I'm going to uh, just grab my calculator, is to see 11.9, 11.9 uh, plus, because it was warmer, 9.8 is going to give us 21.7. So 21.7, so, and then it was cooler by 10.9, uh, so which means we're going to take away 10.9, and the final answer should be 10.8, so it uh, should be 10.8 degrees Celsius, so that should be the final answer, and then you have a look here, uh, and like, yep, I have that question, and um, shade one bubble so you're gonna just shade it so uh, next questions I'm just gonna circle around but um, read instructions here so uh, what needs to be done so you need to shade one bubble so question one done so we're happy about that question two is now if W is equal to six what is the value of two W so what I have seen before so um it's um six or two w um two w so i have seen this two and then instead of w um students have just added six and they said that's the final answer and because it's listed here you may think okay yeah that's correct but no this is not you know correct so 2w it means 2 times w so which is equal to 2 times and then you look what w is equal to so in our case is equal to 6 so 2 times 6 so we are replacing uh, w with 6 and the answer is going to be 12. now we do have answer here 12 so this one is correct so please note 2 W, it means two times W. So, question three. A shop sells new and news computers. The graph shows the price of two similar computers and their age in years. So, on the horizontal axis, we have age and vertical, we have price. So, looking at this one here, we have to decide which one of this statement is true. So, the first one. Computer B is older older okay it is older so age usually starts from this it starts from zero zero two four six so it's older and it's older so definitely older than a and less expensive and less expensive so this is the price so it looks like you know um it's gonna be the first one but I just want to check before I make decision. I'm just going to check, you know, the other solutions. So, computer A is newer, okay, newer, uh, yes, and less expensive than computer B, less expensive. This is the price, and we can see that A is here, so it's more expensive than B, 
So therefore, so it's not um, the second one. The third one, computer A is older, and um, we do know it's not older, so we can see A is here, so it's not older, it's younger, so therefore it's not this one either. And the last one, computer B is newer, and um, again, here's the age, A is here, B is there, so B is older, so again, therefore, it's not this one here. So we were correct with the first one. So it is the first one and, you know, you shade one bubble. So um, the next one is um, table. Uh, summarize the time. Mick spent walking his dog um, over five days. So um, time spent walking the dog on um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. So what was the average? mean time for these walks. So average or mean, um, how do we um, calculate that one? So pretty much you put all together. So 45 minutes plus 15 minutes plus one hour, please note, same units, 60 minutes plus 62 minutes and plus 43 uh, minutes. So we're gonna add up all this together so it should give us 45 plus 50, and um, you may use calculator because you are allowed to do so, 43, and it's equal to 260. So all together 260, but um, it's, you know, on average, so we divide by how many days? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, so five days. So therefore, 260 divided by five is equal to 52. So 52 should be the answer. So we have 52 minutes. Beautiful. Question five. Which number is exactly between one and a quarter and three and three quarters? So um, uh, quarters. Okay, I'm just going to use circle here. So and this is one quarter. Another quarter is here. Another one here. Another one. So we have four quarters all together. If we have um, two quarters, it would be 50%, would be half, but we have one uh, quarter, which means the first number here, one and one quarter is 1.25. So, and another one, three and three quarters, one quarter, two quarters, so that is 50%. So, and, um, then half of 50, 25, so it's 75. So it's gonna be plus 3.75. And you put these numbers together, three, four is gonna, should give you five, should give you five. But now, which number is exactly halfway between those two numbers? This is one number here, okay? So let's say this is uh, 1.25 and 3.75, so what is the number in between? So here, so what is the number in between? So the best way is to add those two numbers together and then uh, final answer divide by two. So therefore, therefore five divided by two is 2.5, or 0 0.5 is half, isn't it? So it's two and a half. And we have that answer here as well. So next one, this is a, a triangular prism. Which diagram is the net of a, a triangular prism? So um, what I'm gonna look for here, uh, I'm gonna look at elimination first. So um, I can see that the last one here, this one here, it's a little bit weird. So if I connect all sides, um, you may realize that we do have triangles on one side, but not on the other side. So, and looking at this um, prism here, so you have triangle on one side and triangle on the other side. So pretty much I can eliminate the last one. Um, same with um, this one here. Again, we do have those triangles only on one side. If we connect all these, so no triangles on the other side. So eliminate this one here as well. So then um, 
you may look at um, this one here. So if I half this, pretty much it's just going to be like flat to um, the, um, it's not even object, so it's just, you know, um, to the uh, plane. So, um, and you, you may think, okay, you know, I do have um, triangle on one side and other side, but here line here, if you bend it, pretty much, you know, this and this um, triangle are going to be on the same side. So, therefore, eliminate that one as well. So, we are left with the first one. So, you may have used different strategies, you know, to choose uh, which one is correct, but sometimes it's not bad to use um, elimination. Um, next one, which dotted line is a line of symmetry? So, um, now, you look, um, I'm quite positive that you are familiar with um, uh, symmetry. So, what are we looking for to have um, exactly the same shapes on both sides of uh, the line of symmetry? So, and um, it is pretty much this line here. Like, if I have this line here, that's the one here. So, the picture on both sides of this line should be equal is like mirror image so um let's have a look here um now um okay this one here so this is the line of symmetry line of symmetry and we can see um the shapes on both sides they're not um you know exactly the same so that's gone um so then this one here for example um a line of symmetry and um we mentioned like mirror image which means if you use mirror so um the picture on this side on this side has to be the same as the picture on that side so you may think like oh, okay you know it does look you know same or similar but what we're looking for um if this is a line of symmetry so any points or line on this side have to be on this side have to be the same distance, you know, as the point on that one. Let me just erase this one because now we can't see it. So, um, and we can see here, here, this one there, that, you know, the distance from this line of symmetry here and to that one is not exactly the same. So, it's not the same. So, cross out. So, this one here as well. So, um, line of symmetry, mirror, so there's nothing on this side, like nothing, gone. So, line of symmetry here, and if you're just measuring, okay, that line on the left-hand side is the same length as this one on the right-hand side, and so with, you know, this line and this line. So, therefore, you know, we may say is the mirror image, and um, this one uh, is the line of symmetry. So that would be our answer. So question eight. If x is equal to three, what is the value of four x over two x take away two? Again, four x, it means four times x. And what is x? It's three in this case. Two times three. So take away two equal to four times three is 12 over 2 times 3, both mass, multiplication first, then take away. So it's 6 take away 2, 12 divided by 6 take away 2, it's 4. So the answer will be 3. So that's your answer. Beautiful. So question 9. Um, there were only nine, uh, 14 students in Rina's class on Wednesday. The other 11 were absent. So 14 in class, 11 absent. So which means all together in that class is 25. So that's the total number of students, total number of students. So what percentage of Rina's class was absent? What was absent? So we're looking, okay, 11. So 11 out of 25, they're asking for percentage and then times 100%. Use the calculator, should give you 11 out of 25 um, and then times 100% uh, um, should give you 40, uh, 44%. Wow. Okay. So 44%. So 
Now, again, you may use um, elimination here. So we do know 25 students are um, in total, 14 present, 11 away. So it's like, very close, you know, to 50%, like around the 50%. So 11 is gone. So we can't use that. It's not more than half, so it's not 56. So it's not 55 because it's not more than half. So it's a little bit less close to 50, but not 50 yet. So therefore it's 44. So if you are not familiar, like confident calculated percentages, um, again, try um, to use elimination. So question 10. Which, um, no, here's a map of Grid Island. Which one of these points is on Grid Island? So, if I have six here, that's six, and two and a half, two and a half, oops, nope, we are in the water. So, pretty much the number six, it's your X coordinate. It's always X coordinate, the first one here, X, and this is Y. So, first you crawl, then you jump. You know, um, if you can't remember any other way. So, number six, it's on the horizontal. And then here, two point, um, two and a half. Oops, we're in the water. Nope. So, the next one, one and six and a half. One and then six and a half. Oopsies. In the water. Nope. So, if you don't find water, that's fine. But, you know, we're looking for the points that are on Grid Island. So, uh, maybe it's the treasure island. Who knows? So four and a half, four and a half approximately is here, and one. Wow, we are still in the water. Gone. Not this one either. So the next one is three and a half. Three and a half is here. That's x coordinate, and five is y coordinate. Wow. If we go up, 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 and five, and we're gonna meet. Yes, we are on the island. So. Therefore, is the last one. Beautiful.